Hello everyone and welcome back to House of M. It's your host Candace and I really hope my voice sounds somewhat copacetic for this whole entire thing. Um, I wanted to do a voiceover because I wanted to talk about how I mentally prepare my day. And if I don't do this, my day is kind of weird, but I've been learning to work with it. I'm a Virgo rising, and this is coming from a Mercury mind. And um, one of the first things that I do is I like to cleanse my space in the morning. It's not really been too much lately because of my sickness and because of the smoke. I don't like the incense, but I have been really loving cinnamon lately. It is a good um, herb for protection, not only for abundance, but a lot of clearing the mind. I'm getting fast results. Um, I'm thinking about fire and cinnamon and spark and just the energy of that that can cleanse my space as well as myself. And then um, I have two different kind of journals. I technically probably have like four, but the yellow one is for like future manifestations, scripting it out. The purple one is my day-to-day, how I feel, what's going on kind of journal to kind of set the tone. So I separate those energies for myself because it's a good way for me to look back on how I was feeling and what I was doing. So I meditate on my energy. Um, Today I actually listen to nature music. It's one of my favorite ways to kind of just connect. Same energy with the Virgo rising, right? Virgos are earth energy. They're grounding. So meditation is one of the beautiful ways that I've been able to really find myself. And one of the best ways I've been doing that is by meditating to things that I want to meditate on that energy of the day. And I personally love connecting to myself. I just haven't been doing it lately because I've been sick. And so that's why I chose to do the nature music, a good 25 to 30 minutes of really just listening to that and just transforming my mindset to a different place. Today's meditation was pretty amazing. Um, I was actually in space, kind of in the void, kind of getting that energy of the hangman. So when I saw that, I was like, I got it. I get it. Like I'm emotionally walking away. I'm getting the clarity that I need. It's not about my creativity. It's other things and trying to let that be. And um, as you can see, though, I'm getting ahead of myself. (laughs) I meditate and then um, I journal out my emotions, what I felt in my purple journal. And then I pull the cards um, to see what additional messages I have. After I do my journaling and my meditation, that's all my mind stuff, my spiritual stuff, all wrapped in one. And now what you're seeing me doing is I'm getting my yellow notebook and I am scripting out how I feel when I've accomplished these things, what I've accomplished, and the emotional and mental aspect is going to give me what I experience. This is how I script. I like to think of it as... The universe is waiting for my order as if it's a waiter. And I'm having to really write down exactly what I want my meal to be. So I'm scripting how it feels and how it meant to make me feel and all this other stuff. I'm being really descriptive because I am an air sign, meaning my mind Um, Not only for that Virgo, but also because my emotions is a Libra. A lot of my emotional but rational thoughts are from my mind and it literally sets the day for me. So it really helps me get out the emotion, but also the mental logical aspect of how I feel, but then also what I want to manifest or let go. It's a beautiful way for me to really start my day before I start anything else. And it's just me really taking the time to really journal that out descriptive as I can, expressing all emotions, written form, so that it really is getting out of my mind through my spiritual body, out on paper. So I do this about however long I feel. I don't have a time constraint. But that's literally how I start my morning Um, If I don't do that, sometimes I'll just do a meditation and not journal. Sometimes I'll just journal. Sometimes I'll do a burn ritual because I woke up having a 
realization about how I feel and want to let it out of my body, out of my mind. It kind of just really depends, but I really set the tone about my body, my mind. Um, after this, I normally do a yoga meditation. Um, sometimes I do yoga, mostly all the time I do yoga, for at least like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. That helps me with the body and my mind still. So it's just a beautiful way for me to just ground, connect, and not look at my phone. Um, I'm only doing this because I'm showing you guys, but nine times out of ten, my phone's away. Especially if I'm in my own energy and I'm just creating my own flow of yoga, my own flow of meditation. I'm really feeling me. You know? So this is how I start my day. It's really connecting. I really hope you guys try it. Um, you know, Virgos get the bad rep and sometimes it's warranted. But one of the best things I love about us is that we rule the sixth house, which is about routines and home and body and mind. And so just I've been really embracing that energy in my day to day, especially when I wake up, especially when I'm not feeling right, or when I know I'm off. Yeah, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys would either try this. If you do, I would love to hear some of your guys' routine in regards in your morning. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mwah.